Okay, so we know what we get now from an article marketing campaign. Let's take a look at the actual steps required. Here's the system. First, your research is done. You're going to research the keywords. You've actually already done this for the AdWords campaign. And you're going to evaluate those keywords to see which ones convert. Remember all that tracking that we're doing? This is why our system is so powerful and we're more successful at it. Because you implement the tracking, and you know, it takes some time to get it set up and you have to plan for the future. But here's what happens. We reap benefits for so long from that. That's why it's so valuable to do that in the beginning. We can find out very quickly which keywords are actually converting. And then we want to take those keywords that are converting and we're going to sort and choose. And here's the process that's involved in that. When we take the keywords that do convert, we compile those into a list. And then we're going to hopefully, you've got about 25 keywords at that point. Because we've been doing, you know, the campaign's been running for a while. You expanded on it uh, with the AdWords campaign and you've added some keywords. Hopefully we've got about 25 keywords to work with here. Uh, and we're going to take those 25 keywords. If you have more, that's great. We're going to punch them into Google exactly how they're, con you know, whatever keywords are converting, exactly how the phrase is. And we're going to do an exact match. That means we're going to put it in quotes. We're going to see how many results we get from that exact search term. The reason we want to know this is because Anything, like if there are over 30,000 results for a particular term like this, there's more than likely not a chance on us ranking on the first page or even the second page for that matter. So we want a, a term that the result is less than 30,000. So put the phrase in quotes. That means you'll get an exact match. And if there's less than 30,000 results returned, then we take those keyword phrases and we put those in a separate list. Those are the targeted phrases that we're going to try to hit. You're actually going to write articles for every term individually. And you want to use that term inside the article at least five or six times. Uh, I'll get into that a little bit more here in a minute. Then you're going to go out and research the topic. So we have picked our keyword phrase, and we know the niche, obviously, even if you're not familiar with this, it doesn't matter because all you have to do is go out, you're searching, read other people's articles, read any other content that you can find on the Internet. And, yes, this is time-consuming. It will you know, require you to actually spend some time in front of your computer and do some work. Uh, but you're looking at doing maybe one article a day if you're doing it by yourself to start with, okay, just to kind of get warmed up. After this, we can ramp it up, and you know, I could do five, five to ten articles in a day easy. Um, next is create the article. So you actually sit down and write it. So after, after you've researched the topic, you are essentially learning the content yourself, and then you're recreating the content. You want to make sure. I'm not telling you to plagiarize. You definitely do not do that. Not only is it not ethical, but it will you'll get penalties for doing that because Google does not – they don't like duplicate content. They just throw it away. So you go out, you actually relearn, you learn what it is, whatever this topic is, and then you recreate it as an article. Now, with your title to the article, that is very, very important. The Because when people do a search, the title is what they're going to see, essentially, not so much the content. So your title has to grab their attention, and it absolutely has to have the keyword phrase exactly the way that you know they searched for it. That way it's going to be bolded, and again, it's got to draw their attention. As a comparison, here is what you don't do. Like, for example, let's say we're going to do something on learning to play the guitar, and the keyword phrase that we found people are searching for and they're actually, you know, it converts very well. Let's just say it was learn to play guitar. Well, a novice would actually use that as a title. 
learn to play guitar for their article. That would not work, okay? You would want to do something that has some appeal, something that tells a story and hits home. Um, you might do something like learn to play guitar like Clapton with 10 amazing tricks. Okay, so we've got a lot of elements in there, and I know it seems like a long title, right? But you've got plenty of space on Google. So it's, you know, you have to take advantage of that. Appeal to them. Learn to play guitar like Clapton with 10 amazing tricks. That says a lot more than learn to play guitar. So that's the system. Research your keywords. Evaluate the keywords, which ones convert. Sort and choose your keywords depending on how many you know results are returned by Google so that you're not out there trying to you know compete with sites that have been there for years and you know they're on the first page and there's like a million results for that phrase you're not going to be able to compete so you go and you find one that's less than 30,000 results you're going to get on the first page after you do this okay uh, research the topic create an article now depending on whether you're going to do all this yourself or you're going to outsource I've got some tips for you in the next video.